All right, this is gonna be a video dedicated to the short roll. The short roll is not often taught like the long roll. Um, in other words, it's less common. Um, so what's the difference between the two rolls? The long roll takes up the space of three eighth notes while the short roll takes up the space of two eighth notes. Another difference is the way that you attack each roll. With a long roll, it takes up three eighth notes. The first eighth note is the initial note, played normal. The second eighth note is a cut, and the third eighth note is a tap. Okay? With a short roll, there's only two eighth notes. The first eighth note is the note with a cut. The second one is the tap. Okay, you'll notice that I'm using different fingers for each roll. It's up to you. I change it up. Um, I feel like I have control of which finger I'm using and it gives you a different sound. Every whistle's different and each finger's different. So uh, disregard that. Um, I would suggest for this exercise to use either the A finger or the B finger to do the cut. It gives you a sharper cut and it'll decrease your chances of getting an accidental mordant or trill. So anyway, here's the exercise for the short roll. And I need to give credit to the French whistler Stephen Duck for writing the foundation of this exercise. Just a short little exercise. I'm just expanding on it. So he used this to teach the tap. I'm gonna use it to teach the short roll. So here are the notes of the exercise. All right, that's D, G, G, E, A, A, F, 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 I'm oh, sorry, D, G, G, E, A, A, F, B, B, G, okay? And this is perfect because we need the space of two eighth notes on the, on the note we're short rolling on. So we're gonna short roll on the A, on the G, the A, and the B. And we have a little note before to practice it in a context. So here is the exercise with a short roll. And I'm just gonna play the first three notes of the exercise. All right. Okay, I played it with all three fingers so you can hear the difference between each finger choice. For me, that middle finger gives a sharper cut, and I love it. So uh, let's now do our A short roll. So we're going to go E, A, A with a short roll on the A. Now we're going to go F, B, B with the short roll on the B. And notice how I'm doing it in a time grid. Um, so now here's the exercise with the full exercise with the short rolls. pretty much it you could do it in the second octave let me try that okay practice both octaves get it really good try to avoid 
um, accidental mordants or trills and practice it in your tunes wherever you see uh, the same note two eighth notes in a row um, there's some places where it might not work some places where it will work I find that it works coming up from a note like in this exercise you have that a roll coming from the e and the g short roll coming from the d that's where i find it most useful um so i hope this was helpful and uh subscribe if you want to see more and uh thanks for watching